Entrepreneurship is not a foreign concept to students. It's now a thing that's really being um, emphasized not only in the university space, but just in, in the country as well. There's no support. You know, um, our rector speaks of innovation and supporting entrepreneurship. I've never seen it. I think it was only the other day where I saw people on the bridge. And I didn't even know about that event. Who, who was told, you know, it was not properly marketed. There are so many student entrepreneurs on this campus. Last year, when I approached career services in terms of help me, them helping me with um, my business proposal and all of that, um, I think I only went as far as arranging a meeting for them to get back to whether my business will make it or not and that was that. And so the other day I actually met the lady again and she was shocked to see me um, part of the Entrepreneurs Festival. We booked a venue, we asked for partnerships and we have not received a response. It's not even that things are not available. There's no response. We have identified a lot of people who um, offered to assist us who really believed in what we were doing, uh, who really wanted to be involved. So um, we've received assistance in the form of mentorship, in the form of advice, and also platforms such as this to come and talk about our organization. Earlier this year, uh, we got um, a fund from the Student Development Office um, to help us um, initiate the business or give it more momentum and my partner is also a member of the INICTA so we are gaining information in terms of business and development. Last week I was at our uh, Entrepreneurs Festival. Uh, um, the fact that I'm on this campus is like a blessing because you know, I can market to as many students as I can on a daily basis. We go into uh, an environment and people already undermine you that you are able to provide um, Quality. Once they see something catching on, it's only then that they want to claim glory for it. That is painful. The one thing that really hits us the most is um, trying to find time to focus. You know, divided between photography, leadership, and also still being a student at the end of the day. Because, I mean, <laughs> who doesn't want to graduate? I have school, I have um, his company has brought Africa and then I'm um, part of our organizations. So trying to find that balance between trying to establish a career for yourself but also wanting your own initiatives to succeed. That's the time that really struggling. Getting like your better equipment and all of that. And so if I have better equipment then I can give people better quality. We have to pay for the banners, um, the logos, the website, his company profile. Uh, in terms of capital, we really entered a lot of competitions, we spoke to a lot of people that we uh, had identified that are not only interested in the market or in the sector that we are currently working in, but also believe in us just as individuals. So that's how we address that. When my term started as president, there was a project to spread Africa. Um, when they saw that your, Unil your Unilever's Ubala Worlds were interested, they said, how about we start a food garden here on campus? because um, it would benefit the No Student Hunger Program. And we had a meeting. Um, we had a meeting, we explained our proposal, and one party was very keen, to the point where they were like, RAG would get orders from us and we would get a piece of land here on campus. Two weeks later, we had a follow-up meeting. Um, it was shocking because the person that approved our proposal sat there while we were told that REG is providing sufficiently for the no student hunger program and it's not going it, it's not going to work. I sat there and I'm like, what is this? What are we what are we doing? How are they saying that as students we have to contribute, you know, to the success and the growth of other organizations here on campus if we will not be given the platform? They, they said hundreds of thousands have been spent on this project. I lived at Motley. The food garden was basically non-existent, but that was the same food garden that would feed students. Maybe it was the, because the project would grow beyond what <laughs> their idea was or what they imagined. Yeah. Um, so it, it's said that we were told to support. It's, it's said that they speak of innovation and entrepreneurship, but we see no action whatsoever from the university side. It's almost like we're being suppressed until people outside are actually like, I like this girl. I want to work with her. And then they're like, oh my gosh, she's from, she's from the University of Oxford.